здравствуйте. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Меня зовут Вера Алексеевна Полякова Норвуд. Добро пожаловать. Добро пожаловать на урок русского языка. Итак, как всегда, as always, как всегда, на уроке мы говорим по-русски, читаем по-русски и пишем по-русски. Today let us begin with numbers. We are already familiar with numbers. One through twenty. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. These are the easy numbers. Well, very quickly, let us count these lovely Russian pens. Итак, один, два, три. Четыре, пять, пять. Хорошо. Well, I wish I had more, so we could continue. But we are stopped at пять. What's the next number? Шесть. Next one. Семь. What comes after that? Восемь. Девять. Десять. Десять. Хорошо. So let's take a quick look at this. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Okay, say this in your classrooms. Хорошо. And let's take a look at numbers six through ten. Шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. I want everybody to repeat after me now. Шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Read these numbers in your classrooms. Хорошо, хорошо. But this is what we call the easy numbers. Now let's work on the difficult ones. Let's try 11 through 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And let's look at them. Одиннадцать, one on top of ten, двенадцать, тринадцать, четырнадцать, пятнадцать. And now please read out loud in your classrooms. Хорошо. Хорошо. At this point, if you need more help with your numbers, take your textbooks and go to page 502. You will find the numbers on page 502. But let's proceed and we are moving on to numbers 16 through 20. Do you remember them? 16, 6 on top of 10, 17, 18, Девятнадцать, двадцать. And let's take a look at these numbers. Шестнадцать. And you remember двадцать means ten. Шестнадцать. Six on top of ten. Шестнадцать. Семнадцать. Восемнадцать. Девятнадцать, двадцать. The syllable, the syllable that is presented in white on your screen is the one that attracts the accent. Шестнадцать, семнадцать, восемнадцать, 
19, 20. Okay? Now I want you to say these words in your classrooms. Please say them out loud. Хорошо. Хорошо. Now, at this point, we really need to be on page 502 in your textbooks. We will continue practicing with numbers. We will be practicing with the difficult ones, 11 through 20. And I trust that at this point, you will be able to identify the numbers that fall within this group very quickly. So let's take a look at our first group. How do we say this one? Одинадцать. sets. Одинадцать. sets. Let's move on to the middle number. Шестнадцать. sets. Шестнадцать. sets. And how about this one? Девятнадцать. sets. Девятнадцать. sets. Одинадцать. Шестнадцать. sets. Девятнадцать. Хорошо. Let's take a look at the next group. And how do we say this one? Двенадцать. Notice that I put the E sound in the first syllable. Двенадцать. Now everybody after me, please. Двенадцать. Хорошо. How about the middle one? Сем... Семнадцать. Хорошо. Identify this one. Двадцать. Двадцать. Двенадцать. Семнадцать. Двадцать. We're still talking about this number group. I want you to say now the first number. Двенадцать. With the E sound in the first syllable. Двенадцать. Now say this one. Двадцать. Двадцать. With the A syllable. With the A sound in the first syllable. Listen one more time how, how I pronounce these numbers. Двенадцать. Двадцать. Okay? Now you do this. Хорошо. And let's take a look at one more group. Одинадцать. One on top of ten. Одинадцать. Четырнадцать. Четырнадцать. And finally this one. Восемнадцать. Восемнадцать. Eight on top of ten. Восемнадцать. Хорошо. So you are responsible for all the numbers from one through twenty. And you can find them on page 502 in your Russian for Everybody textbook. And why do you think I made you work so hard on these numbers? Because today, we will start talking about time. We'll start telling time the Russian way. What helps us to tell time, to find out what time it is? Часы. 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 Это часы. Часы. По-английски, a watch or a clock. A time-telling device. Часы. Час means hour. Часы – hours. And if it's a device that tells us hours, then we just call it hours. Часы. 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 One more time. Часы. With the accent here on the second syllable. Часы. So, what can we call this object? Часы. 
Хорошо. And what is this? Что это? Часы. And что это? Это часы. Это часы. Хорошо. So you know that часы tells time. So let's take a look at this word. Today we will start telling time on the hour. And the Russian word for hour, as I have already mentioned, is час. 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 Hour. Час. Хорошо. So, how do we tell time in Russian? What do we do when it's one o'clock? Let's look at this clock. It shows that it's one o'clock now. So what do we say? See chas now. See chas chas. One hour. That's all we do. See chas chas. Notice that we don't even need the word adin. We don't need the number one here. Because chas already means one hour. See chas. Час. It's one o'clock now. Сейчас. Час. Say it. Хорошо. Сейчас. Час. And now let's take a look at this clock. What does it tell us? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two hours. So what do we say? We simply say сейчас два часа. Two hours. Сейчас два часа. And notice what we did with the word час. We added the A ending on it. Сейчас два часа. Сейчас два часа. And часа is not a plural form. It's a special form that goes with numbers. And we will be discussing that in every detail when you are in Russian 2 or maybe Russian 3. But in Russian 1, just go ahead and memorize it. That's another memory exercise. And believe me, it's going to make things so much easier for you. Just go ahead and memorize it as it is. Сейчас два часа. Two hours. Now say it. Сейчас два часа. Хорошо. So we already know how to say it's one o'clock, it's two o'clock. One o'clock. See chas. Chas. Two o'clock. See chas. Dva. Chisa. Well, let's look at what we do when it's three o'clock. Well, let's look at six of them. At what? At one o'clock we say see chas chas. When it's two o'clock, we say сейчас два часа. When it's three o'clock, we simply say сейчас три часа. Three hours. Сейчас три часа. And it's four o'clock, all we have to say is сейчас четыре часа. Четыре часа. Notice that with numbers два, три, and четыре, we used часа with the I ending on it. But now let's move on to five o'clock. Сейчас пять. And did you notice the change that occurred in the word that comes after five? Часов. Now we have the OV ending. Again, this is how the Russian language works with numbers. Сейчас пять часов. The change in the ending always occurs when you hit five. Сейчас пять часов. At six o'clock we say сейчас шесть часов. So while we still have this on the screen, I want everybody to read after me. Сейчас час. Сейчас два часа. Сейчас три часа. 
Сейчас четыре часа. Сейчас пять часов. Сейчас шесть часов. Хорошо. Хорошо. So remember that at one o'clock we say сейчас час. And you don't even need the number one. Сейчас час. Then at two, three and four o'clock. You say два часа, три часа, четыре часа. And we are using the word часа with the I ending. Then the change in the ending will occur when we hit five. Пять часов. Сейчас пять часов. Сейчас шесть часов. And it will stay with that ending of часов. Through seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve o'clock. So let's take a look at this group. We are telling time from seven o'clock till twelve o'clock. Сейчас семь часов. Сейчас восемь часов. Сейчас девять часов. Сейчас десять часов. Сейчас одиннадцать часов. Двенадцать часов. So, five through twelve. With those numbers, we are using часов. So let's write this down and this is what you need to have in your notebooks. So we say сейчас, сейчас, час. And you remember this word simply means hour. сейчас, час, сейчас, два часа. Три часа. Четыре часа. So, два, три, четыре. Go with часа. Часа. Now, she's that these three numbers go with часа. And then, you remember from our discussion that the change is going to occur when we come to five. And five through twelve will go with часов, with the or where ending. You always need to remember this and how it works with different numbers. Well, to help you memorize this quickly, let's do a series of exercises. Let's take a look at different times and you will identify them for me. Let's begin with two o'clock. And this is, by the way, how the Russian people would represent two o'clock. Notice that instead of using a colon, we simply use a period right here. Итак, how can we say it's two o'clock? Два часа. Сейчас два часа. Хорошо. Let's move on to this. How can we identify this time? Сейчас семь часов. Сейчас семь часов. Хорошо. What does the next one say? Сейчас час. Сейчас Час. Remember, for one o'clock, you don't even need the number. Сейчас час. Хорошо. Let's move on to this. Сейчас четыре часа. Сейчас четыре часа. And uh, let's take a look at this one. What do we say? Сейчас пять часов. Пять часов. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. And by the way, today we started working on 
урок номер семь. Урок номер семь. Мы уже изучаем урок номер семь. And in урок номер семь there is a special section that deals with telling time. That's where you can find all of this material that we have just discussed. Well, we know how to tell time on the hour. But how do we ask about time? What time is it? What time do you make? Который сейчас час? Literally, this simply means which hour? Который сейчас час? Который? Say that one more time. Который? Который сейчас час? This is a very nice, very polite way of inquiring about time. Который сейчас час? You can precede this question with Вы не знаете? Don't you happen to know? Вы не знаете? Который сейчас час? Or you can start with Скажите, пожалуйста. Tell me, please. Скажите, пожалуйста. Который сейчас час? So this is the correct way to ask about time. Well, very often in everyday conversations, we take liberties with the language and we say something that's not very correct grammatically, but it's okay in an everyday conversation. So in Russia, very often you will hear this question, Сколько времени? Сколько времени? You will hear people using this question. It, it, it simply means, what time is it? Сколько времени? This is okay in an everyday casual conversation, but it is considered to be grammatically incorrect, so never use it in writing. Сколько времени? But again, you will hear this in everyday conversations, in everyday, very casual conversations, but it's considered to be grammatically incorrect, so it is not used in written speech. Сколько времени? And this phrase will also appear in several dialogues and exercises in our textbook. So that's why I want you to be aware of the second way of asking about time. But again, the approved version is который час. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at который час one more time. Again, this is what you definitely need to know. Который сейчас час. This is grammatically correct. It's good. It's polite. That's what you always ought to say if you want to project as an educated person. Который сейчас час? And let's take a look at a typical dialogue. When you need to find out what time it is, you ask, скажите, пожалуйста, tell me, please. Again, you want to be polite. You also want to attract that person's attention. Скажите, пожалуйста, который час? Сейчас два часа. And then you say thank you. Спасибо. And in response you will hear пожалуйста. You're welcome. Скажите, пожалуйста, который час? Сейчас два часа. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Now go ahead and read this dialogue in your classrooms. So we're talking about time and when during the day are we most pressed for time? When may it cause a problem for us? In the morning. Сейчас утро. Сейчас семь часов. And утром, in the morning, 
we can be in a hurry. Let's learn this lovely verb. Spishit. Spishit. To be in a hurry. Or simply to hurry. Let's take a look at this. Я спешу. Ты спешишь. Он спешит. Мы спешим. Вы спешите. Они спешат. Да, спешить is a second conjugation verb, which means to hurry or to be in a hurry. So let's write this down. We are working on the verb спешит. And you remember, it's a second conjugation verb. So we say я спешу. Ты спешишь. And uh, this is our ending. And let's do the third person plural form. So you would remember the ending here. Они спешат. At. Они спешат. They are in a hurry. So what's the English for? Как по-английски? Я спешу. I am in a hurry. Look at this. This is what you say. Я спешу. Now, when you are in a big hurry, all you need to do is put the adverb очень between your pronoun and your verb. Look at this. Я очень спешу. Now, I am really in a big hurry. Я очень спешу. Now, say it. Я очень спешу. And why are you in such a hurry in the morning? Because you may be getting late. And do you remember the verb which means to be late? Опаздывать. Опаздывать. That's a good old friend of ours. We learned it when we were working on Unit 4 in the textbook. Remember? When Anna Petrovna is away from home, they all get late in the morning. Apazdevats. So uh, we will uh, practice with spishit and apazdevat when we meet for class next time. Spishit, pandeski, to hurry or to be in a hurry. So right after this lesson, I want you to take your additional exercises and you will practice with the new verb that we learned today. At home, take your textbooks and find урок номер 7, lesson 7, урок номер 7. On page 145, complete exercise 7.4. You will be practicing with expressing time. Also, I want you to review notes taken during today's class and uh, practice with telling time. So every hour you can tell your parents what time it is in Russian. Ну, большое спасибо и до свидания.
Здравствуйте. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Меня зовут Вера Алексеевна Полякова Норвуд. Добро пожаловать на урок русского языка. Так, на уроке мы говорим по-русски. На уроке мы много, а вот, много говорим по-русски. Мы говорим, читаем и пишем по-русски. So today let's begin with telling time. You remember that when we need to um, find out what time it is, we simply look at a часы. Часы. And it can be either this kind of часы or a big clock that goes on the wall. This is also часы. 